Coming up next on ATE TV. Process technology. I didn't get this job because I'm a woman or and because of my color. I got the job basically because I was smart. Geospatial technology. New technical skills are coming up every day. And we have the mission to train this new society of workers. And internships. My instructor set me up with a internship at a desalination plant. Top of the line, it's $80 million worth of equipment. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. Ever considered working in a refinery or a chemical plant? Do you prefer a hands-on learning environment? Community colleges in various parts of the U.S. offer programs that will help you start your career in the high-paying, high-demand fields of process technology. Remember this, because it's going to be on a quiz somewhere. Grease is an oil and an additive. This is the same type of equipment that you see in refineries and chemical plants. I'm a single mother. I work at Hertz Rental Cars, and I also attend school here at the College of the Mainland in the Process Technology Program. Monday and Wednesdays, I basically go to school all day. Those are my days off, and uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I work at, uh, at Hertz. The toughest part, I would have to say, is the time. It's about trying to balance everything as time, because it's just not about me. I do have a daughter. Education is the most important thing to me, because it's something that can't be taken away from me. Process technology is predominantly male. There's an assumption that I'll just be given a job, because they need to have these minorities in the field. So I feel like I have to prove myself to say, well, I didn't get this job because I'm a woman or, and because of my color. I got the job basically because I was smart. Five to ten years from now, I see myself starting off basically as an operator and working my way into the engineer. So I have both sides, and I think I can excel at both. I know I can excel at both. Unique's making a solid future for herself and her family. She'll graduate from community college with a great job, and her career track could lead to an engineering position in either the oil, gas, pharmaceutical, or chemical manufacturing field. Do you like geography and maps? How about working outdoors collecting data? Well, community colleges across the United States offer programs that focus on geographic information systems or GIS technologies. Central Piedmont Community College is the largest community college in North Carolina. It's the fourth largest institution of higher learning in the state. We have 70 odd thousand students in some capacity be it curriculum or continuing education. I don't think I have it. Right, so X that out. Click on the pointer button. Within our department, we teach geomatics, which is a combination of information science or mapping with computers and surveying, traditional surveying methodology. At Central Piedmont Community College, we offer students an exciting opportunity to be able to work hands-on with the technology that they're going to be using in the workforce. Now remember using the scale, rotate, and pan tools. Just took the point. And learn how to use the tools that they're going to be presented with once they're hired. And now I'm going to go back and select the object that I just took and enter the attribute. At the community college level, we're training students in doing and not just knowing. Dave, do you remember how to do it? We're teaching theory through application. That means hands-on learning for the student that will translate into success in the, in the workplace. We're very lucky here in the Charlotte region to have a big GIS industry. The local businesses and the public agencies who use GIS help in our advisory committee to make sure the training we provide in the classroom is exactly what they need in their graduates. If there's a particular skill that's missing from my graduates, I hear about it, and it's invaluable. It's the help we need to make sure our training is on target for them. We want to make that raster map as small as it'll be. Well, in today's society, many jobs are very specific. You have a niche, and you play a certain role. You're going to create a point for each manhole cover, and then describe it in the attribute table as well, OK? New technical skills are coming up every day. And we have the capacity, um, the mission, 
to train this new society of workers. And that's the button you want to capture your point. If you like computers, working outdoors, and keeping up with the latest technology, then a career in GIS might be right for you. Check out your local community college to find out more. Want more than a classroom-based education? If so, you should check out internship and cooperative education programs at your local community college. Who knows, you might actually get paid to work in your field before you graduate. We have internships and cooperative education, which is very similar. Internships tend to be the part-time employment, while co-op tends to be full-time employment. But the experience are very similar. It helps these students out a great deal. We really are encouraging most of our students to do a co-op. That is one of the electives they can take in their program, and we really try to say between your first and your second year, a co-op is a great way to get out there and test the water, see if it's an area you like. While I was here at Bristol Community College, I did an internship in underwater acoustics to build a transducer for communications underwater. We put several students to work on an internship at water treatment plants. When they do that internship, people see what they can do, and oftentimes they get hired. My instructor set me up with an internship at a desalination plant that opened locally, state-of-the-art plant top of the line, it's $80 million worth of equipment. I like to work with students as interns first so that they see the operation in a plant, pumps and motors and fittings and things like that. You have to be analytical and you have to be detail oriented because there's a lot of detail to water quality. I didn't have my license at the time, but it turned out they needed to hire a few full-time operators and because I had the education I had from the school, they were very comfortable taking me on. I'll be getting my water treatment license in a couple of weeks. Internships are essential for success in the workplace. These type of experiences will actually get them working with someone, will actually get them exposed to the newest technologies. Instead of someone fresh out of college with no experience, employers get someone who has a sense of what the workplace has to offer and is far better informed. Interested in finding out more about on-the-job learning? Be sure to check out your local community college for a full listing of their internship and cooperative education programs. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.